Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Everyday English with me, your host, Cruneel. Right, today we are going to talk about at the restaurant and things that happen at the restaurant, right? So we'll have to do some restaurant vocabulary. So let's go with me. What is this guy's job? What is his job? He is a chef. That is what his job is. You can see by this beautiful hat of his that he's wearing, so that is his job. Let's go on to the next one. This is a waiter, but he's a special waiter. As you can see, he's got a wine bottle on his tray and a wine glass. So he is called a wine waiter. Okay? Now we go on to the next one. The next one is called a waiter. A normal waiter. But what if your waiter that brings you the food is a girl? then that means she's got a different name. So her name is waitress. So the man is waiter and the woman is waitress. Now let's go on to the next one. Where are they working in the restaurant? They are working in the kitchen of the restaurant. All right. Now let's go on to the next one. The next one is someone that works at the back of the restaurant. And her or his name is usually a dishwasher. Okay, a dishwasher. So this person washes all the dirty dishes and puts it back clean for the waiters and the chefs to use. And this person here, where is he? As you can see, he is behind the bar. So if he's behind the bar, then he is called a barman. A barman. But what if the barman is a woman? Then we call a, a barmaid. We are going to call her a barmaid. Okay? Next one. This one is what happens when you get to the table and what you can see on the table. This where you can see a plate and you can see the knife and the fork and the spoon. It's called place setting. Place setting. So if someone asks you to set the table, this is how you put it. Left hand side is your fork. In next to your fork is your plate, then your knife, and then your spoon. That is called a place setting. Next one. This is what happens when a waiter or waitress takes you to a table that you have already called in for and asked, please can I have a table? We'll call this a reserve or a book table. So your name will appear on the table and we'll say it's reserved for you. The next picture will show you a table full of place settings and it's got four chairs around this table. So this is a seating, a table for four people, for four people can sit around the table. So it's a setting for four persons. Now, the next one is this person here. What is he looking at? He's looking at the menu. When you ask for the menu, you can see what is served at this restaurant. Maybe pizza, maybe Italian food, maybe Spanish food, maybe just American food or British food. Let's see what's the next one. Yeah, you get a different kind of menu. So this menu is called a starter menu, right? Or starters. This usually happens before you order your main meal, you can order a starter. Starters are usually maybe soup or maybe some uh, uh, lettuce or tomatoes, just a little small salad or garlic rolls or spring rolls or carbonara, not carbonara, some onion rings, right? So this is your main course. So this will be your main menu. So here you will get the big food they're going to eat. This will be your main menu, okay? Then what goes with your main menu is maybe some vegetables or some mixed greens, some tomato, some french fries. It might go with your main meal, okay? So we'll ask what is this served with? The main meal, what is it served with, okay? Next one. This is called a wine list. If you prefer wine, you'll ask for the wine list. Then I'll say red wine, white wine, a fruit wine, or just any kind of wine that the restaurant is serving. You'll also maybe have your beers on there as well. So let's leave it at that for today and let's go back to our 
main subject and this is that you are at the restaurant and that you need to know what's happening in a restaurant so join me if you want to know the full video on my website or book a, a lesson with me and the rest of the students and you can be part of the group learning more about english everyday english thank you very much see you again watch these videos goodbye